Benelli calls this a scrambler. Yeah, I don't see it. I mean, the trail version, fine. But this bike, it's running proper road spec tires, alloy wheels, and even the ground clearance isn't all that much. So even at first glance, the Leoncino is not exactly a scrambler. But I'll tell you what it is. It is special. The first indication that this is indeed a special motorcycle is this. The little lion of Pizarro reserved for only the most special of Benelli's. Leoncino means lion cub in Italian. First launched in 1951, the Leoncino was the first post-World War II motorcycle from Benelli which played a strong role in the brand's revival. Over a period of 12 years, 13 different versions of the Leoncino came into being and over 70,000 units were produced. And yes, the very first Leoncino also had the little lion on its front fender. Now it might be called a lion cub, but the Leoncino certainly isn't as small as it looks in the photos. It's got those typical Benel touches as well, such as those massive 50mm front forks and the wide tires. But if you're expecting that typical Benelli big bike feel, well, think again. It's a pretty compact motorcycle, but one that's inviting for both tall and short riders because the seat height, it's an ultra low 785mm. The seat itself is wide and comfortable and accommodates larger backsides really well. But it is a little on the stiffer side. The seat tapers towards the front and the bike is quite narrow as well, which means straddling it is an absolutely easy affair. And the handlebars, they're quite tall and very wide. So you sit very upright and it gives you a very lovely commanding riding position that's quite unlike other bikes you might have ridden. It's the design of the Leoncino that really sets it apart from other motorcycles though. That round headlamp, that teardrop shaped fuel tank and the minimal tail. They all scream Neo Retro, almost like a Yamaha XSR. There are some lovely design details here as well, such as that tail light and even the shape and texture of the seat. Heck, even the overall build quality is the best that we have seen amongst any Benelli motorcycle with top-notch quality paint and premium looking badges. There barely are any plastics on this motorcycle. It's a very minimal design where the engine takes center stage. Now on paper at least, this motor might not feel all that special. It is the same inline twin that we've already seen on the TRK502. But on the Leoncino, Benelli has fettled with the gear ratios, made them a bit shorter. So you can carry even lower speeds in higher gears. 30 kph in fifth gear, no problem at all. And that makes the Leoncino extremely enjoyable in the city. And it's not just in the city where this motor really shines. It's got some oomph out on the highway as well. It loves to rev and part delivery is extremely linear. It pulls really smoothly all the way up to its red line of a little over 9000 RPM. 100 kph in 6th gear, that comes at just 5000 RPM and 120 is at 5500. And the motor feels absolutely stress free at those revs, you can sit at those speeds pretty much all day long. And even at higher speeds or revs, there are not many vibes to speak of, just a mild buzz in the foot pegs. And in typical Benelli fashion, that exhaust just loves to sing at high RPM. So you'll find yourself downshifting often to make that engine rev, even though you don't need to, to make those overtakes. The slightly stiff seat and no rear wind protection keep the Leoncino from being a great touring motorcycle. But it's a completely different story in the twisties. Now the Leoncino is really enjoyable on a winding mountain road and most of it is down to its weight. With a dry weight of just 186 kilos, it puts the curb weight well under 200 which is a lot lighter than its TRK siblings. Now you do feel some of this heft especially at a standstill but the moment you get rolling it just disappears with the wide bar giving you plenty of leverage 
to make quick changes of direction. Now the way the Leonchina turns in can't be described as quick or sharp, but it is very precise and you can get the bike pointing exactly where you want it to with very little effort on your part. But there is a little trouble in paradise. Now, we are not the biggest fans of these Pirelli Angel GT tires. They do provide adequate grip, but something slimmer and stickier pedalers <laughs> would have made this bike a lot more fun in the twisties. Now, one thing that's really incredible about this Leoncino is that even with such a low ground clearance of just 145 mm, it never scrapes on any of the massive bumps or potholes our roads threw at us. And that's partly down to its suspension setup. Those massive 50 mm front forks, which are adjustable for rebound, as well as that lateral monoshock, which is adjustable for rebound as well as preload. Now, the stock settings are a bit on the stiffer side, especially at slow speeds. But that helps the Leoncino keep its belly clean over all the bumps. And once the speeds actually build up, the ride settles down quite beautifully. Of course, if required, you could tune that suspension to be a little bit softer. But there's not much difficulty in getting used to the stock setup. But even if you don't tune it, thanks to the great ergonomics designed with the trail version in mind, you can stand up comfortably on the pegs while tackling sharp bumps. Now, one area where the Leoncino does fall a little bit short is its performance. Now, even though it weighs a lot less than the TRK502, makes the same power and torque figures and is shorter geared, in our tests, it was a whole second slower to 100 kph and we just can't explain why. And when you compare it to something with a little more cubic capacity, such as the Royal Enfield Interceptor, even though it makes more torque, it's almost 1.7 seconds quicker to 100 than the Leoncino. Thankfully though, in in-gear acceleration, both in 3rd and 4th gear, the Leoncino is easily on par with both the TRK as well as the Interceptor. Braking though is solid. It's got great hardware. Twin 320mm discs with 4-pot radial calipers up front and a massive 260mm disc at the rear as well. From all speeds, be it 100, 80 or 60 km per hour, the Leoncino stops quicker than the TRK502 as well as the Royal Enfield Interceptor. Now, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't expecting to like this Leoncino so much. Yes, it has its flaws. If the performance isn't all that great, the ride quality is a bit on the stiffer side and some stuff like the switch gear is just meh. But the whole thing just comes together to give you a wonderful riding experience. So much so that I've even stopped bothering to classify this bike. Scrambler, retro, naked, I don't care anymore. I'll tell you what it is, or rather what it has become. It has become my favorite Benelli motorcycle ever. And although I wish it was a little bit more affordable, considering just how special it feels and just how much of a smile it puts on your face every time you ride it, I think it just might be worth it.